even as the sun starts to make its morning debut. Production at Cleveland Cliffs Middletown Works in Ohio hasn't skipped a beat. This steel mill never takes a break. From the blast furnace to the cold mill, from steel making to coating, the fingerprints of the machinist are everywhere. The nearly 1,900 IAM members working at this facility produce the steel that is used to make everything from the panels on your car to the appliances in your home. But somebody has to make sure this massive city of steel stays lit 24-7. This is why the Cliffs Maintenance Training Center is so important to the lifeline of America's steel industry. I've never been excited about work until I've come to this program. Cody is one of the many reasons why this program matters and why it works. The maintenance apprenticeship program is unlike any other in the country. It teaches current IAM members at the mill how to repair and maintain the machines that keep Cleveland Cliffs running. For Cody, this program offered him a career he had only dreamed of. I'm a father of three kids. My wife works full time. She's a firefighter, so she has some crazy hours also, as well as we do out here. But to be able to be on all day shifts and work my normal working hours here and get this level of training, this, this is equivalent to a college degree in this field. There's not too many places you can come to work and get a year and a half salary, so to speak, to get educated. And your whole goal for that 18 months to 20 months is to get an education. And you're providing for your family at the same time. So it's very unique. It's a blessing to, to all of us, really. But this blessing didn't happen overnight. The program is a long developed partnership between the IAM and the company created at the bargaining table over the last few contracts. It gives members an opportunity to learn on the job, whether in the classroom or on the shop floor, from some of the best journeymen in the trade. On top of that, there's no out-of-pocket cost to the member. We do get some federal grants to help offset costs of training, usually anywhere from $500 to $1,500 per student that goes back into our training fund. We've got a training fund that we negotiated with the company several years ago that was uh, 10 cents an hour for every hour worked. The company has seen the value of this joint training program and they've actually put more money in than what's needed out of the joint training fund, but like upgrading the building, upgrading, buying some equipment. All the materials that they would use, whether it's welding rods, PPE equipment, expanding some of the offices and the labs that they need, the companies put more and more in because they're going to get the value out uh, to be able to utilize those folks out in the plant. But what makes this program stand apart from all others is that students are learning on simulators which mirror real machines found on the shop floor. Like direct current crane boards, which are found in overhead cranes used to move coils throughout the mill. It's amazing that we can, in a controlled environment, that we can literally simulate every issue that you would have in a DC crane board in a mill without actually being you know, 50 feet up in a crane or having to disrupt production. You can do this is exactly what you're going to have. Cranes aren't the only machines the simulators help with. These fluid power trainers are especially helpful in shortening machine downtime and saving money because they troubleshoot the actual problem. It takes troubleshooting to a different level. It's going to give you schematics of a piece of machinery like a conveyor system. You go to the conveyor system, it gives you a schematics on how to hook it all up the correct way, how it's supposed to work, and then it gives you a bug. It puts bugs in them. Sometimes it gives you three or four. This isn't only about fine-tuning these mega machines. It shows our members they can do anything. I gained so much confidence actually working on the stuff here that we will be working on out there. The well labs and anything that we have here it's actually stuff we're going to be working on out there. It's all hands-on and the stuff that we're actually going to be doing. So that is great, man. Can't ask for nothing better than that. Even his wife is a fan. She loves it. She has all these tasks, like she wants outlets here, or she wants a new sink down in the basement. And I'm able to do all that without actually having to pay someone to come in and do it. So yes, it also increased my workload at home. <laughs> While it may not be common to see women working in a steel mill, there isn't a step in the steel making process here at Middletown Works that isn't touched by a woman, including keeping the equipment in tip-top shape. We had a woman in our first and second classes. Uh, they both went on to be journeymen. I know that it means something to the other women in the plant because I've, I've had remarks like, 
man, if she can, she's up there swinging a sledgehammer and she's doing this and that, I can do that. And there's a lot of mental toughness and mental aptitude that's needed when you're troubleshooting equipment. And uh, it doesn't take the strongest person in the room to be able to, to figure some of that stuff out. Jessica Paps has been an IAM member for almost seven years. She is a graduate of the second apprenticeship class and has been a journeywoman now for over a year. Jessica went from scanning coils to track inventory to pretty much being able to work on anything inside these gates. At times, she still can't believe it. Neither can her family. My family is still blown away to this day. They still can't wrap their head around how I went from just being a simple country horse girl to working in a steel mill as in maintenance. Jessica also didn't realize the personal gains that would come from this apprenticeship program. My favorite part has to be the fact that I am completely self-sufficient. I know enough to do all my own housework, all my electrical in my house, general plumbing. I don't have to call somebody, hey, can you come help me? I just do it all myself, save a lot of money. John Giltro is the third generation to work at the mill. Uh, everything I've ever had has come out of this plant. In his 43-year tenure, he's pretty much seen and done it all. Today, he teaches basic piping. But before the students get to his class, they have to pass a few basic courses. They'll do three weeks of, of shop math, which we teach. Then they have a week of safety training. And then they'll go through a three-week course of what we call trade and craft school. Back in my day when I went through it, it was called screwdriver school. But it's basic, it's basic uh, stuff that you learn, you know, basic tools and operations and safe practices. That's just step one. Next, it's time to hit the books and turn them out into the field for on-the-job training, or OJT. They have uh, 1,620 hours of related instruction, which is class and lab work, and 2,000 hours of OJT. They have to pass all the classes with a 70% or higher throughout each grading period and achieve those hours in order to be considered a finished journeyman. I'm actually going to be journeyman next week. Once I get my OJT hours in, I'll then be state certified maintenance mechanic. Also, I'll move up a pay grade. From here on out, really, if I, if I chose to, I could probably go get a, a, a job anywhere in the country. It's a big deal for sure. Jeff Esposito is less than two months away from earning his journeyman's card. That's thanks to this amazing opportunity to learn from the best of the best the fighting machinists who do this grueling work, making Cleveland Cliffs an industry leader for more than 120 years. Having instructors that are from the mill, they know how this mill works. They've done this. They've been in the trenches, they've been in the oil, they know, hey look, this isn't gonna burn like it says it burns. I came in knowing next to nothing about all these things and now I feel pretty competent that anything that they throw at me, I can handle. It's always something new, always something exciting. I love it. In the City of Steel, these are the mighty machinists who keep these metal giants burning around the clock. It's a city that never sleeps. All thanks to the Cliffs Maintenance Training Center and the working class heroes that continue to build a legacy that will live on for generations to come.